Hello and welcome to a quick snapshot video of the Brilliant BI X version 2.1 firmware, which is just released. Uh, I'm happy to announce that with this firmware, we have included the ability to download additional text-to-speech voices. Um, I'll go through this video briefly on how we can download additional voices and change voices and just explain some um, some settings that may be um, uncertain, maybe some settings that you're perhaps not sure about what they do. Uh, so we'll quickly uh, just cover those uh, in this snapshot video as well. So I'm sitting at the main menu. I've got the version 2.1. Now it's really important to note that when you install version 2.1, if you have not got a text-to-speech or if you have... I've uh, decided to change different languages all of a sudden. So you maybe you're using the French system language or German system language. When you first install the version of 2.1, you will be prompted. If you're connected to the internet, you'll be prompted to download text-to-speech voices. At that point, if you agree, it will download your system voices, meaning if you've got French as your system language, it will download the French TTSs. If, however, you've got English, it will then download the English text-to-speech. You'll be a prompt this once. If you ignore that, if you cancel, then it's not a problem. You can uh, change this at a later date, and we'll go through how we can change that now. So I'm in the menu. Uh, to access the speech settings, we have to go into the options menu. So to access options menu, we can press space with a little O. Okay, that will take us into the options menu and will prompt you with the last uh, setting that you was previously in. So mine says user settings. At this point, I need to go to speech settings. So I can press the space bar if I want to or my front thumb keys to move forward and backwards. Or you can use first letter navigation. Uh, in this case, I will use S to jump to speech settings and press the enter Download key. So again, this is a menu list and there'll be various different options available to you. These options are all to do with text to speech. So there'll be various different settings that you can change and alter. However, on this video, we're going to quickly go to the download voices options. I'm going to press enter. Change menu voice, Rachel. And here we'll have a couple of options. We have change menu voice. I'm going to hit the space bar. Change additional voice. Change additional voice. Swap voices. Swap voices. Close. And close. So these three different items, change menu I'm going to voice. quickly Rachel. explain. So change menu voice, I've got certainly currently set to Rachel. If you want to change your menu voice to something completely different, like a different language, that's not going to be possible. It will only give you a set of voices that are available to your system language. So if I press the enter key here, English Australia. it will give me various different English categories. English United Kingdom. English United Kingdom. English India. India, English Scotland, English Scotland English North America, North America and then last is the close item. English Australia. So it's only going to give you the available languages that you have available for the system language. So if I had my system language completely set to French, I'll only have the French text-to-speech voices available. Okay, um, so you, by all means, you can select whichever menu voice that you want and download that. I'm going to exit out. Change menu voice, Rachel. Okay, and I'm going to hit the space bar to go to the next Change item. Change additional voice. Change mm. additional voice. Now, this is the option that you need to go to if you want a completely uh, different voice to your English. And the, the typical use case here is perhaps you've got a document that's in French or Spanish. Um, so it's really applicable to your reading voices, not your menu voices here. So this is where you can actually um, press enter. Arabic. And here you'll have more categories. You'll have actually country or language categories here. So I've got Arabic, Catalan, Catalan Czech, Czech and so on. And all the text-to-speech voices that we actually support. So by all means, choose one of those. And that will then be your additional voice selection. Now, if you then want to use that voice, and this is really important and can get very confusing, if you want to use your additional voice, this is where you need to go to your current profile and change your content voice. Okay, so if I just come back to the main menu here, I'm going to go into my options, so space O, and I'm going to go to my language profiles, press enter. English. 
And currently I've got my English as my profile. By all means, if you go to add, you can add a new profile and perhaps you can have a French profile and select that content voice. But I just want to go through something really quickly here. If I just choose add profile. modify configure profile. or configure English. and configure English, profile name. it goes through the list, profile name, and I'm going to use my thumb keys here. Uncontract Computer Braille table, uncontracted Braille table, a contracted Braille, a content voice. None. Content voice. Here we go. So at the moment, my content voice is set to none, meaning that when I go into uh, applications such as Victor Reader um, or my keypad, if I then try to get speech, it's not going to happen. So I need to make sure that I press enter here. None. Okay. And change this Rachel. to either Rachel Real. or Graham, which is uh, Graham is my additional voice, but perhaps you may have a different language here, maybe French or Spanish. But let's choose Graham, press Content enter. Save and then I'm going to save configuration. So make sure you choose the save option. And now that, that's saved. So now when I go to my editor and create file. let's create something quickly. Let's just type hello. hello. Okay, and there you have it. So I'm just going to quickly do it. Hello, you notice that Graham is now speaking. So it's just a quick little introduction of how those voices generally work. And I'll finish off with one last thing, which is the swap voices. So the swap voices concern swapping between your system menu voice and your additional voice. So at the moment, I've got my system voice set to Rachel and my additional voice set to Graham. Now this will only work and it's only applicable if you have the same language set from both your system language and your additional voices. So for example, you won't be able to change from an English voice. So Rachel, for example, to a French voice, uh, it will not be able to switch between those two different voices because it's a completely entirely different system language. So it's only applicable for when you have the same languages. In my case, I've got Rachel and Graham. So to swap those, I'll go to the options menu. Wi-Fi connected, terminal. So options, space User O. Settings. In the speech settings, I go press S speech for speech settings. and press enter. Speech on. And I go back to the download, download language and languages voices. and voices and press enter. Change menu voice. Braille. And as I space along. Change additional voice. Braille. Swap voices. Swap voices. So here I'm going to press enter on swap voices. Confirm voice swap. And it will ask me to confirm. I need to press my thumb key or my space bar to okay. OK. And as I press enter or hit the cursor key on OK, it will then decide Shutting to down. shut down so it needs to restart the device in order for that voice to be changed over thank you very much for viewing this snapshot video uh, in the meantime please visit our human web buddy application where there's a lot more resources information about this latest version of 2.1 thank you